Now, but we'll get back to the questions and the science challenge in just a moment. But we'd like to welcome back Tim from the hey National guys, Museum. Hey guys, good to see you. Again. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure, Tim. Nice How are you doing? You. Good, 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 good. Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, I did have a great Thanksgiving. Good. And right. who knows? We're, we're in December already. Yeah, well, I can't just yesterday it, yeah. it seemed like it was November. You're <laughs> shot by. All right. So today, what we're going to talk about actually has a lot to do with this. Water. Uh oh, oh cool. that's impressive. <laughs> Where is it? Where did that go? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> there we there go. You go. Oh, there it is. Polymers. Oh, I see what you did. We're going to talk about polymers. Now, the thing about polymers is how they're connected All right. and they're cross linked. Isn't Christmas colors? Christmas colors. We went with it. Uh, what I had. <laughs> Actually, mm -hmm. they don't look like this. They more turn around and have more of a clumped look to it. But you can see these have a lot of loose spots. These. Mm -hmm are much tighter. So that's how the links go. Great. It's how polymers, poly meaning many, uh -huh. mer meaning one thing. And it's how they're connected together. That I so understand. The building block poly would be the monomer. and one. Polymer, that's so fantastic. That's exactly. I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's great. So, so what the, we're going to, go yeah, ahead. I was going to say, sorry. the building block would be the monomers, uh -huh. meaning one. And so a lot of them stuck together is the, the is poly. a polymer. Yeah. Polymer. And uh, the most important polymer in the world? Is I DNA. No idea. What DNA. is DNA? DNA. It makes oh, you, you, right, and me, right. me. And we'll all have our own original DNA. Right? Exactly. Okay. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of different things. Okay. We're going to first work with these polymers, latex okay. balloons. Now, these are loose link because you can fill them up right. and they hold a lot of air. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the old needle through the balloon good trick. Good luck all with right. that, Tim. Oh, no, no, no. We're all going to have good luck with it. Here's what we're going to use. <laughs> oh, you got one for we me got, over here, oh, too. Yeah, oh, we're all, right. all over this like a cheap suit. All right. All right. What I want you to do is take a little bit of mineral oil. And right at the top, you'll see where it all comes together at the top. Now, it may yes. be a little bit askew, but you find that little dark spot at the top. Put about right. the size of a quarter on there because oil breaks down oil. And mineral oil will break down the latex. Also, go around the bottom, around the knot. Okay. Now, that's why I've got all kinds of these paper <laughs> towels yeah. for you to yeah. dry your fingers off. And when you're done with that, I hope I put enough on here. Oh, Tim. more than enough. <laughs> all right. Now you want to, you can take you also with dip yours. This in no, there? well, you've got so much you can just take it and just bring it right across the top. All right. mm -hmm. okay. And what you want to do is take the tip of it. Put it in and start to twist back and forth and push forward. Oh, no, mine didn't work. You but only Mr. One that's gonna Z, get it. always the He's great all, scientist. Oh, yeah, oh, well. like one. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, always keep one off to the that's side. Right. All right. That's well, that's what is this teamwork. stuff that we're putting on there Mineral though again? Oil. And that breaks mm -hmm. down? The that breaks stuff down on the, the oil. Somehow? And, and it lubricates it on the way through. It lubricates okay. through too. Yeah. Now you'll see, uh, you want to do it, Mr. Z, you want, want me to do it? Oh, I'll Go try. Ahead, give it a shot. All right. You'll see a lot of times magicians will do this, but they'll oh, cheat. Oh, look at you go, Mr. If you, Z. If you go right to here and just, I always pinch it just before it comes, you got to go over yeah. a little bit more. Pinch it a little bit. Yep. Uh, there you go. There you go. You should get two tries at everything. <laughs> Balloon on a stick. Right. And the I idea is. Mr. Z. <laughs> that there's your shish kebab, man. <laughs> Mr. Z, why does that work? Well. If, now, we talked about earlier, if we had blown our balloon up too much, it, it wouldn't have. But what happens is the balloon actually tightens down around the skewer and it's keeping the air from escaping. But if we blew it up too much, what's the difference? It's just well, it would, it, wouldn't, it would be stretched already to its limit and it would oh, pop okay, on it'll us. Okay, it would pop anyway. Yeah. Which may have been what happened okay. before. But so, either so way, had a little we've gift. got it to work. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Now, we've been talking about, you've been calling it one thing or another, but we're, what we're going to work with is Elmer's glue and a little borax and water. And this okay. is a cool one that kids can do at home. You take the borax, you just Not mix a bunch messy, of borax no. with water borax, that powdered soap mm -hmm. detergent additive, and we take a little bit of uh, Elmer's glue or whatever type of glue you like, white glue, put it down inside there, and we've got that. Now, so now we, we, should we talk about what the glue actually has in it? Why we're sure. using Sure. All right. So the glue is a polymer. Okay. It has a polymer in it. Okay. And we're going to take... The borax and water, put a little bit inside. And now, I'll give it a second. Oh, you made it a pretty color. Oh, yeah, <laughs> went, with the, went with the blue look. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now when you pull it out, it starts, you can see where it's actually starting to tighten the links. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do 
Is, is it because it's becoming more complex? It's becoming, like that, the, the, it's starting to link like together. That. So it goes from right. this one to this one. Yeah, I can see that. So okay. it's so a great big long string, but now there's, it's forming bonds between uh -huh. the strings. It's cross-linking between the, and picture a lot of spaghetti. It's just a natural reaction between these two elements. And here's mm -hmm. where it that? gets messy. Yeah, it does look <laughs> I messy. I turn around. I'm glad you're doing it. <laughs> and you start to roll. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's not bad for you. It's non-toxic, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we've got it almost there. Put it back. I always put it back into the borax and water just to give it a, a little, little more. more. Oh, there's still some water and stuff yep, in there. Yep, still some in there. So what happened, like the borax that. is actually linking the two different, there was all these strands uh -huh. of the, uh, the, pine, the polyacetate in there and it's linking those together. So it's forming bonds between the different strands of these polymers. Okay, and, so, and it's just certain solutions, like with this borax. Well, it's borax it's and so water does it, because, mm -hmm. yeah, the borate inside of it. Mm -hmm. And then okay. you've got, you can make a little ball. All right, All right. That, cool. <laughs> and yeah, it's yeah. easy, fun to do at home, kids can do it. Now little how borax long and water. will it, we talked about this before the show, how long will it stay a nice bouncy little ball? Uh, or maybe like 10 that? or 15 minutes. So what's happened to cause it not to be so Just bouncy dry anymore? Dry it out. Okay, Does, that doesn't mean it's losing any of its polymer characteristics. Nope. It just no dries anything. out, and when it dries out, it just turns uh -huh. around and starts to crack. But mm -hmm. it's still pretty cool. You could probably coat it with something to keep it solid. If you wanted to make, a, oh, say, a mobile of the solar system, something like that, you could oh, yeah. probably coat uh -huh. it with something to, to okay. seal it for, uh, okay. for good. All right, all right. All right. But well, it's kind of cool. That was very well done, Tim. Well, Tim let's talk about things. what happened in the original with the... Uh, with uh, the, with the the sodium polyacrylate. Mm -hmm. This is the cool part. This is the same powder that you find in diapers. Okay. <laughs> because and I've changed a few of those in yeah. my life. <laughs> because you can see the powder, and the powder uh -huh. itself will actually absorb 800 times the water, its weight huh? in water. Oh. And what happens is it's sodium polyacrylate. Mm -hmm. So the, when the water hits it, the sodium okay. separates, mm -hmm. and that leaves the polymer. The, the sodium stays inside of the cage, basically, the polymer, and the water is on the outside. Through osmosis, that's where the water is going to go through a membrane. It's always the solvent, which is the water, goes into the sodium, so it keeps drawing in the water till it gets a level where it's I, equilibrium I never knew outside. That. That there was always that, and that much water. Like that. You could dry this out and reuse it. Uh -huh. it, w it will eventually dry out and uh -huh. reuse it again. Yeah. If you don't this have whole a big experiment budget. all over again, huh? <laughs> yeah. All over guy. again if you yeah. like to. But uh -huh. they, they first started using them. It, it's been around for a while, but in 73, they started using them for spills. They make uh -huh. giant sandbags out of this reusable sandbag. Uh -huh. So you set it down, and it, as the water comes in, fills up, stacks them up. They're easy to move. Then yeah. you pull the them off to the side. Water comes back. Oh. It's, I think it's, okay, yeah. great. All right. So well, that's polymers. Cool. Well, not everything, but it's cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. we like doing polymers, Tim. I <laughs> shake hands with you, but maybe not. All right. All right, we want to thank Tim for being here. Now, if you want to see this experiment again or learn more about the Rochester Museum and Science Center, head to our website, homeworkhotline.org. But stay there, and we'll be back in just a few seconds. All right, thanks.